Um, they want to join you because you're you. Like if someone is connecting with Melissa and you've been talking for three or four days or five weeks, or she's a challenger of yours and you have grown this awesome relationship. And then I come in and talk about coaching. It makes no sense. What ends up happening in our sneak peek right now is Megan and I do this lovely video and we share all this information and Aaron has a couple people in the group and I get messaged the next day or Megan and they want to sign up with us because they've heard from us. <laughs> they related to my funny stories and they related to the fact that I, we both have one child and all of a sudden I spend my whole day telling Aaron's lovely woman that she needs to still sign up with Aaron. Yes, she'll still get the support from the team. Like, honestly, you guys, it's just, it's not working. And it, it makes me realize that instead of helping you guys, we've actually probably held you back a little bit. So moving forward, you have lots of options. I can almost see you guys like zoning out right now thinking, oh my God, she's going to make me do my own sneak peek. And that's not entirely true. I really don't think a lot of us here, unless you're probably diamond, you probably don't need to worry about having a sneak peek, right? Like reality would say maybe once a week you have someone really interested in coaching. Or me, hopefully way more than that, but let's, let's be realistic. You don't need to have a weekly sneak peek. I really barely have to, like, I don't actually need to have a weekly sneak peek. So you probably don't either. However, we have lots of resources that are available to all of you. First off, the most important thing that you can do as soon as you get off this call and if you're in the recruiting boot camp, you've already done this, I hope, um, is take a piece of paper and write down 10 reasons minimum why you love coaching. And I, and I mean, even if you've been a coach for five hours, there is a reason that you signed up. There is a reason why you wanted to do this. Write those things down. Okay, so as soon as you get off this call, or if you just want to tune me out and do it right now, that's fine too. But write down why you like coaching. And then the next thing I want you to do is if you're really brave, set up your camera and take a little video of yourself talking about those things. It does not have to be long. And just because I wanted to make sure I wasn't lying, I scrolled all the way back in my YouTube channel to day one. And when I was a new coach, I have a, why I think it's called why I love being a beach body coach video. So I did this. I, you know, I knew that people needed to hear my story, not Amy's because the truth of the matter is the people that I would attract Amy's not going to attract. We're very, very different. So it made no sense for me to put people into Amy's sneak peek. As soon as I realized that I, you know, I, I got uncomfortable and I did my own videos. If you're not ready to do a video at the very least, get a, like a note, get your notepad out on your desktop and write out some sort of paragraph, a couple paragraphs of why you love coaching. So when you have someone that you're talking to, you can send them a little bit about why you love this. And then all you need to do is, honestly guys, even when I'm talking to someone, I send them the Team Beachbody video. Go into your Grow Your Business tab in your Coach Online office. If you click Team Beachbody Resources, there's an awesome video. It's like three minutes long. That's what I send people all the time. If they're now still interested, which lots of them will be because that video is so good, it makes anyone want to do this, we still have resources for you that you can use. If you go to my um, YouTube channel, Megan and I have a webinar and it's you can't miss it. It's what is coaching. It's 45 minutes. 
and it answers every single question anyone could ever have. And it's Megan and I. So it's basically like putting them into the sneak peek. Like if you still aren't comfortable with all the facts, then just send them that or watch it and then be able to answer the questions. I send that all the time. Like I, to be honest, I haven't added anyone into that sneak peek for a very long time because it is just too much of a mess. I just don't even want anyone in there. So I send that all the time. And then if you still, like if it's still, there's still questions and you don't feel like you can answer them, you tell the truth. Like that is a, I mean, you don't know how many times I say this in messages. That is a really good question. I have no idea what the answer is, but I'm going to find it out for you. Like it is way better to just be honest and say, let's figure this out and then start a three-way chat with your upline. And then we can work through it together. So, I mean, I think we've actually put more fear into signing coaches with these sneak peeks. We've made it this humongous deal that, oh my God, when's the sneak peek? When can we add them into this big fancy sneak peek? And it's not, it does not have to be scary at all. Those are the steps that you can take when you have someone interested and you don't have to do any talking besides a two minute video or a short couple paragraph thing that you can copy and paste to them, telling them why you love coaching. Because that's what they're interested in. They could care less why Michelle File signed up as a coach four years ago. Why would they care about what I've done? They don't. They care about what you've done. And then move on to sending them the Team Beachbody video. It's really short. That gives them just a couple more little snippets of information. And then if they're really interested and want the answers to the bigger questions, you can send them that live webinar. Or go right to a three-way chat, like whatever feels better for you. That's what uplines are there for. Don't feel bad for messaging your, your coach and say, listen, I have someone really interested. I've sent them my story. I've sent them the Team Beachbody video. They still are really excited about this and I'm nervous as shit. Can we please do a three-way chat so I don't screw this up? I still feel like I'm going to screw things up when I'm talking to a prospect. You, you get nervous. That's very natural. Now, if you are a diamond or above, it's probably time you've got a sneak peek going on. At least have a group there. And, and even if you want to have open up a group on Facebook and have a nice cover photo that says sneak peek and maybe have your story video in there, um, right now in my group, I've got some money income posts just in there so people can see the last couple sneak peeks we did in just the bigger one. We had a lot of you share your stories. And I think that, that there's value in people seeing those other stories. So I just copy and pasted those and put them into my own group. So if you're ready to do a group like that, so you can kind of plug your people in there to get some information, do that. I mean, I did, I did, did it when I was, I don't know, probably like almost an Emerald coach. Like it's whatever you feel you want to do, but I promise you it is going to propel you way faster than sticking people into our groups and list, having them listen to us. They just will not relate to us at all. We don't want you to feel like you're being like, hung out to draw like oh my god now they want us to do this all by ourselves that is not it at all we are like giving you all the options all the tools are still there but we want you to be the voice behind it does anybody have any questions or like do you need some help do you have any ideas that you might want to do like we want you guys to be comfortable with this because we really want you to do this. Like, I mean, to build your businesses, you need to build teams. So we want you to feel good about this. Of course, of course it's going to be scary. Of course it's going to be scary. Like, I mean, I've been doing sneak peeks now with Megan as my sidekick for like a year and a half. So it's even scary for me to think, okay, I have to do all those videos by myself now. It's just my story they're going to hear. I don't have her as backup. So it's scary for me too. 
it's kind of like one of those leaps of leaps of faith, right? That you just have to take a deep breath and just do it. Do you think I missed anything, Megan? No, I don't think so. Um, I think that this is sort of one of those points in everybody's business that some people are going to go ahead and, you know, take the time and create a two minute video of them just like, like, Hey, my name's Megan. I just wanted to share a little bit about why I became a coach and why, you know, two months later or a year later or three years later, I'm still here. Just a simple video, just like that. But the thing is, some people are going to do it. Some people aren't going to do it. And if you don't do it, I can promise you, you're not going to build a team because you then aren't going to ask anybody to join your team because you don't have a system in place. And that is huge. If you have a system in place, if you feel really confident um, about like, well, what am I going to do if somebody says they're interested in coaching? If you know in your head, well, I'm going to send them the video that I created. That is going to give you so much more confidence to go out there and actually ask people or, um, you know, do coaching CTAs. But if you don't have anything in your back pocket to pull out when that person says they're interested, you're, you're just going to, you're not going to grow. I promise you, you're not going to grow. So it's so important that I think everybody really does just go out of your comfort zone, make that video. Don't overthink it. Like don't wait till you've got the perfect hair and the perfect outfit. Like who cares? Do it after your workout one day. Like don't overthink these things. They'll, it, you'll get hung up. Just do it. Maybe in two months you make a new video, like, you know, cause your story is always going to evolve as you change in the business, but just don't overthink it. Um, that's kind of my, my biggest advice. Yeah. And I mean, I know some people it's really easy just to have the words, but I know for others, it's not like, I, I totally get that. I remember spending hours watching why I'm a Beachbody coach, YouTube videos from every coach you could possibly see. That's okay. If you do that, like that is okay if you need to get some ideas on making your own video. Like, trust me, I still do that. Team calls, when I'm not feeling it, like I don't know what I'm gonna talk to these people about, I go and I search and I find something that like resonates with me and then I like recreate it. So don't think that all these amazing videos are just coming out of us because we're just that good. Cause I am definitely not like I still go and um, you know what? I just made a new, what is coaching video. And I watched a couple before from other coaches that are the same level as me. I, I, I wanted to see, okay, what are they, what are they sharing? What are they talking about? How polished is it? How unpolished is it? You know? So do what feels really good to you. You don't have to be the same as anyone else do what feels good to you. So for me, doing my hair and looking made up is important to me. That that's that is important to me. So if that's important to you, do that. Like do what makes you feel really good and really proud. But don't feel bad if you need ideas. If if you want to message your coach for ideas, go back on my YouTube channel, find my first one. You'll <laughs> die laughing like I mean I was so green my gosh it's crazy but you know what it worked and it was me at the time and and you evolve into this stuff like you really really do but you never will if you don't take the first step you never will and I can remember just sweating my ass off through stuff like that at first but you you just it gets more natural the more you do it and Megan is so right. If you do not have something ready at the very minimum, a little write up of why you like to be a coach, you will never ask anyone to be on your team. Never. I guarantee you, you will not because you don't have anything to give them. And you won't want to come to me and say, I don't have anything to give them. <laughs> so start with the write up and then move to a video when you feel good and then just keep evolving with this. Know that we are always here as your support. We're always here. We are never, ever going to leave you ha hanging. If you have someone that's interested, 
but we really do want to empower you. And we know that this will move you forward way faster than what we've been doing. Because there's just too many awesome people that want this business really, really badly. And we're not getting enough new coaches on our team. Like it's not growing like it probably should be. And we feel that it's probably partly our fault. So we don't want to do that. We don't want to hold you guys back. We want to empower you for, for whatever you have, you know, whatever your goals and stuff are. We know this feels probably like a little kind of like a push, but it's, it's really, we feel pretty strongly for the best. So good luck with that. And I know you'll all do awesome. Yeah, I think it, just think of it as exciting, right? It's just, just another new thing that you get to do. And if you can look at it that way instead of super scary, it, it, have fun with it. Be yourself. Be yourself. Have fun with it. Okay. Anyone? Did someone have someone a question? Have a, I was just going to say, um, I have mine. I have a video done. And then I have kind of like the what the FA cubes from when Heidi and I did our sneak peek before. But I've taken all those videos and put them as links in a PDF. So I have mine set up that I can just send people either by email or messenger my PDF. And it's partially reading, which is more my style because I'd rather read something than sit in a group for a day and watch videos. And then the videos are links that they can click that then takes them to my videos. So just another idea of how people could do it if they wanted. Yeah, that's a good idea. And Carla, you made a really great PDF kind of thing at one point in time too, didn't you? Is that yeah, that's the one I just updated it. So I took it like before I had your original webinar from years like years ago when we started the, that, and I took that out and put my video, which is I just did it like more introducing who I was, and then later on I had the team beach body video, but I think I took that out and now I have like what the FAQ so it's all questions about. Like that we would normally do in a sneak peek, but I put them into a PDF, like links to the videos. That's awesome. I mean, it, there's just so many ways um, to do this. There's so many ways. There is no like right or wrong, but like Megan said, you just need a system. Like you just need something that you will be able to give these people or you will be paralyzed. They will come back to you and you will be so nervous that you're going to F it up that you just then won't do anything and you'll lose them. So yeah. It's, it's almost like, um, you know, for when you get started and in your head, you're like, Oh my God, what am I going to do if somebody asks me about, um, beach body on demand or what a challenge pack is or what my challenge group is? Like if you've been at this for a little while, you feel pretty comfortable when someone says like, well, what is Beachbody or what's Shakeology? Like you kind of have a system in place, whether that's like a script you use or you go off of, or you just, you're able to explain it. But then if somebody asks you about coaching, you're like, oh crap, I have no idea how to talk about that. So this is just getting you comfortable with being able to talk about coaching. And you know, you have, you have to, if you want to grow a team, you have to. And so this is just how you start practicing. Yeah. Totally. I mean, honestly, I wish someone would have pushed me harder because I, I uh, yeah, I just wish I would have talked about it sooner. I wish I would have been more confident about confident talking about it. I mean, I could sell a challenge pack to anybody, but talking about coaching, I curled up into a little ball and just pretended it wasn't happening to the point. Like I didn't talk to any clients when I was hairdressing. That was like 15 people a day I could have talked to and I wouldn't even breathe it, which I wish I would have had someone just giving me little gentle nudges to to grow faster and, and get more comfortable with this stuff. So that's what we're, it, what is it when your parents give you like, what is that called? Tough love. It's not tough love. It's, I don't know what it's called, but that's what I'm doing. <laughs> so I know the next thing is though, most of the time people are afraid to sign coaches because they don't know what they're going to do with them after. Right. Is that everyone's biggest fear? Like, how am I going to, that's great. I get this coach and now what? Like I'm supposed to train them. I don't even know what I'm doing. Anyone feel like that? That you hardly ask anyone because of that? Okay. So this is the best part of the call because we're going to take something off your plate. So um, 
for many months, Megan and I have, have started our coaches with a seven day message thread and it has worked awesome. I think some of you have been in that message thread. Um, it, we literally break down the first steps, step by step, the simple steps, like the stuff that you actually need to do to start your business, i.e. start posting on social media, get yourself into a challenge group, um, learn how to create curiosity and not be salesy, learn how to take a really great selfie, learn about personal development, like the, just the simple, stuff that you have to do and our message threads have been awesome they've got I mean a lot of you here I'm looking you were in those threads you got started off right and you really have you saw success right away a lot of you hitting success club in that first month because we were kind of with you for seven days they got um, not exhausting I don't know why we stopped I'm not even sure why we kind of the last month or so we haven't done the message threads with new coaches and I can definitely see a difference um, in how I start my coaches I feel a little bit disconnected because I didn't have that first seven days with them so I feel like okay if I feel like that what is happening with the rest of the team when they're starting coaches like I know you guys don't have the, the same confidence. How could you? You haven't been here as long. So we have decided that right now, once a month, it might, you know, if, if our team starts growing bigger and bigger and faster, we're willing to do this more often, maybe twice a month. But at this point, it's starting on Monday and it's going to run at this point the third Monday of every week. But it is going to be basically our seven day message thread condensed down to five days. It's going to be an open group for the whole team. So Megan and I will lead it. If you've been in the seven day message thread, it's going to be the same information, you know, maybe a few tweaks here and there to make it relevant for right now. But we will take all the teams, new coaches and take them through that five days of getting them started. Right. Does that sound good? Is that a good idea? Does that make you guys feel a little bit more comfortable with bringing coaches on that they're going to definitely get started right? Like, I think that's the biggest thing, right? Like they have to get started because if you lose them in that first little bit of time, they just lose momentum. Um, what am I forgetting? I know I'm forgetting some major things, Megan. No, I don't think you are. Okay. I think it's going to start on Monday, our first one. Um, but if you have somebody in there, and maybe you mentioned this, you'll need to be in there too because it's, it's still your coach and your coach needs to see you in there encouraging them and answering their questions. We're going to give the information. We're going to give the content. But it's not like you can just add them in and off you go and – hope for the best for your new coach. Like you're still, you're still there to support them. It's just, we're going to do all like the behind the scenes work. Yeah. Good point. So yeah. So the little, little details, like the finicky stuff, um, all of the posting, uh, what's that word? Posting ability will be turned off. So the only two people that can post in the group will be Megan and I, um, obviously your people can comment underneath the, the post. So they'll have to, there'll be tasks that they have to do. So they'll have to do that all in, in the comment area of the post. We just, I mean, it could get crazy in there with, it, you know, imagine there's like 25 new coaches in there or something and everybody's posting their shit. Like it would drive me insane. So that's how we're just going to keep that like nice and clean and productive and to the point. Um, but every post that has a task will say tag your coach. So you will be tagged. If you have a coach in there, you will be tagged. And it's like your responsibility to come in. You, you have to keep and build a relationship. Honestly, that is how you get successful coaches. When you get to know them, uh, you know, their why, you know, what, what their goals are. Those are the things we talk about right at the beginning. We're going to take the fear out of you having to ask those questions 
Like, are you okay with us keeping you accountable to your goals? What are your goals? What's your big dream? All of those things they're going to answer in this group, but you need to be in there. So you get to know your coaches. And if I were you, I would have a piece of like, have a notebook of your coaches and write this stuff down. So when you're having conversations with them, when they're having tougher days and tougher weeks, you can go back to that kind of information. That's what I loved about the seven day message thread from what I was doing before to the seven day. I really felt like I got to know my coaches really, really well in those seven days. And it just kind of like solidified our relationship. So we don't want you guys to miss out on that opportunity. So just know if you have someone in there, it's, you still have some responsibility, but we want to take away the fear of starting coaches right. Because I know that that's a big fear. It's still a fear of mine. I always wonder, am I doing enough? Am I doing the right? Am I telling them the right thing for them? You know, we all fear that, but we want to kind of take away that initial, those initial steps that we know are really, really important. Okay. Any questions on that piece? No, all good. Um, all the, all the sort of diamond coaches, the leaders on the team, they, we all talked about this last night. So, um, if I'm not your upline or Megan's not your, your upline will know the information and, and they'll be able to walk you through all of this sneak peek stuff as well as, um, the five day coaching group. So one other little point, we, we are going to open up this sneak peek. So I'll announce it tomorrow not sneak peek, sorry. Tomorrow I will announce on the team page, the five day coaching, getting coaches started right, whatever it's going to be called. I'm going to open it up to VIP members as well. Um, I feel pretty strongly that there is a huge opportunity for VIP members with 2B Mindset. Um, I think that these people that would never think about being a coach like ever because there was always this fitness game around us like that it just kind of always you had to be into fitness well now with to be mindset you don't like these women that will never be into fitness are losing weight and are just going to continue to get to their goals they're going to have people asking them what they're doing and i want to man our vip members so in our new coaching group, we are going to give like simple strategies of how someone could actually make some commission without posting on social media. So there will be a whole sort of lead into that, that VIP members could get their Shakeology paid for if they you know talk to a coworker or if a friend asks them they don't have to necessarily always refer back to us they can actually make some commission so you'll see that when i when i explain this group tomorrow in our team page with it'll have a link that people can click so they can join the group just like i always do but it will be open to vip members as well so if you have a lot of VIP members and you haven't invited them to Fitneek Nation team page, I would get on it. All of my VIP members are invited to that page, every last one of them. I do not add them to the page, I give them the link. And what I tell them is, you know, you're part of my community now. And this is another resource for you because you are a VIP member. This is another place where you can get support. That is how I, um, I sort of talk to them about the Fitneek Nation team page. Because I have, I don't know how many leaders, half of them started as VIP members. Half of them told me they never, ever wanted to be a coach. But because they were in that team page, they saw the culture, they saw the success, they saw what we did, and it, it becomes contagious. So I will, I will go down to my grave saying that VIP members eventually, like 50% of them become working coaches, and sometimes they become your top coaches. 
So I, I want to see how this might work. Prior to To Be Mindset, I don't think it would have worked that well, but because To Be Mindset is, it, it just does not have that fitness aspect connected to it. I think there's opportunity for women that would never be a coach. I think there's opportunity for them at the very least to get their Shakeology paid for, you know, have a couple coworkers want to do the program with them. It doesn't mean they have to go and run their own challenge groups. Like I always say to people, if, well, I mean, I had a girl today, she's not, she's a VIP member. She never ever wants to be a coach, but her best friend wanted to buy 80 day obsession. Well, I told her like, let's get you set up so you can make some commission and get your Shakeology some taken off of it this month. Like that just felt right to me. And, um, you never know. I mean, once someone gets 50 bucks, they might want to keep going. Right. So that's kind of how I handle those situations. So this group will be open to VIP members. If you have any in the group and they're wondering what it is, that's what you can tell them. You can explain it to them that it's sort of giving you a, a gateway to learn how you could get your psychology paid for, um, by just sort of chatting with friends about it. Basically what we'll be telling them is if you have someone that asks you how you've lost 10 pounds, all you need to do is add that person into our free informational group and tag them in the pinned post. <laughs> That's all they need to do. And then if the person wants to purchase something, they message me or they message you, right? And then you help them actually make the sale. So it's like very simple. It doesn't have to be hard. I think sometimes we make this stuff so difficult, but it's very simple steps. So, all right. Any questions? Comments? Concerns? <laughs> all right. The class day starts on Monday, correct? Yeah, Monday, the 21st. Perfect. All right. Yeah, so I'll put it in tomorrow. Um, and then people can kind of join over the weekend and we'll get started on Monday. And you guys can join, like, I'm sure there'll be so many people in it because you guys can totally join in and just see what it is this first time. And then, um, I'm sure there's some coaches already that just don't feel like they got started right. I mean, maybe some of mine, you know, like they just don't feel quite comfortable yet. So this is, I have a whole list of mine actually that I, I have messaged them and saying, you know, we're having a new training started and you know, some people that have kind of just fallen off, like they were really gung ho and then they just, I don't know what happened to them. Um, I've kind of messaged them and said, let's, let's try this again. Like take two, let's see if this is something you might want to do. So um, that's how I'm doing it. I always position these new things just like I do a launch of a program. It's something exciting. You know, uh, you'll see probably a CTA over the weekend of mine like, wow, I have a brand new coach training starting. You got to do it. Um, if you've got some people kind of hanging on the edge of joining your team, this is a way of saying to them, oh my gosh, like my upline is doing this amazing brand new training. You've got to get in there. So like, Everything is a launch to me. I don't know if you've noticed that, but everything that I can make exciting, I do because that stuff is like really contagious to people. They want, it's like FOMO, right? You create FOMO, people will want to be there. So, okay guys, short and sweet today. I hope that didn't overwhelm you, but I think it's exciting and I hope you like take the opportunity to sort of you know, drive your own, drive your own truck in this business. And really, I really think it'll help you grow faster, which is what we all want. All right. Good night, guys.